<laughs> you live in the penthouse apartment, don't you? Why? I don't know why. Maybe you like the view. <laughs> <laughs> no, why are you asking? Oh, well, you park next to me. In in the parking lot, you. I parked my car next to you, next to yours. I, I'm Courtney Stevens, your downstairs neighbor. I live under you, you know, downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> You're quiet. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to read the paper. Oh no, no, I mean, I mean, you're 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 quiet. Like you don't make a lot of noise. You know, above us, because you know we need you. <laughs> so, my husband and I, Luke, you know, when we were thinking of moving from a house into an apartment, we weren't sure we wanted to do it because, you know, noise from the neighbors. Ah, uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Our dog Dave barks on the balcony sometimes, and sometimes your dog barks back. I mean, not, you know, not in a bad way, not, you know, it doesn't bother us or anything. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> you know, they bark at each other, they're like having a conversation. I wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe your dog Dave, is it? Yes, Dave. For Letterman. Huh. That's great. Uh, well, maybe Dave Letterman II can tell you what they're talking about. <laughs> You're making fun of me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you are. You should come over for dinner. Really, I mean, our dogs could finally meet. No, thank you. <laughs> no. No. Thank you, no? No. Come on, what's... You have a special diet? There's the kosher or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't eat anything. Uh, except shellfish. I'm allergic to shellfish. <laughs> allergic? Yeah, tongue swells up, throat closes, and then I die. <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. God, even lobster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, whew, really great talking to you. Can't wait to chat again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what's your dog's name? <laughs> This is the part where you're going to come to the conclusion that I'm not a nice person. Uh, <laughs> I would prefer if you didn't talk to me. <laughs> no offense, I'm sure that you're a nice person. Uh, I am. Yeah, and I, I really I believe you. Uh, I'm sure that you and, <laughs> you and your husband Lester are probably... Luke. I'm sure that you and Mr. Skywalker are lovely. <laughs> and that your dog is lovely too and has wonderful powers of conversation. Oh. Okay. Okay. You were, um, kind of uh, an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that is the world view needed for this conversation to shed its mortal coil, then yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I had uh, invited you over to be neighborly, friendly. Uh, well, once again, no, thank you. Yes, um, <laughs> but uh, now I think we, um, we need to discuss the damage <laughs> that you have done to my car. Yes. Your car has dinged my car. Dinged? Dinged. <laughs> In the door. Mm. I measured. Oh. Mm. What, what exactly did you measure? I measured the distance between your car door and my car door, which you have now dinged on multiple occasions, mister. Oh, mister? 
Yes, mister. Because you see, you don't come to the neighborhood room meetings that I organize, so I don't know your first name. All I know is the first initial O. So, yeah, it's mister. Mister. <laughs> Ozzy. Oh. <laughs> Ozzy? Really, your name is Ozzy? Yep. <laughs> You don't look like an Aussie. <laughs> what what does an Aussie look like? Less of an asshole for one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could end this conversation very easily, and we can go on our respective ways. Uh, I did not damage your car because it's impossible. Thank you for interrupting me. Now please leave me alone. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I see, and I'm just supposed to accept that because you said so? The damage is like $600, okay, which my lawyer will be happy to collect from you. Uh, and then your lawyer's going to leave you with a, a very good bill because of your simplistic attitude, which is only overpowered by your unyielding zeal. <laughs> <laughs> because you, sir, are going to get sued. <laughs> Courtney, is it? Courtney? Yes. Courtney, why don't you sit down, and then I'll explain this to you once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Very big digs. No dinging has been done by my car. How can you be so sure? I'll tell you what, wait, wait for that day in court with your lawyer. Which you will be paying for? My lawyer. Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to have a much more expensive lawyer, and I'm going to choose him based on exactly that trait, and you are going to foot a very big bill. Are you trying to threaten me? No, hardly no. I'm just trying to rearrange your world view here. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you don't come to the neighborhood room meetings. I don't care what color the lobby is painted. You know what? I have no desire to get involved in a debate about towel etiquette in the gym. And, and naming a room the neighbor room is totally ridiculous because it's not a neighborhood. Oh my God, it's a condominium. But I'm trying to make it more of a neighborhood. <laughs> Some people choose not to live in it. Assholes. Fine. In court, my lawyer will have evidence which will include my father's will showing me that he left that car to me. It's a 1969 Charger. So all cars have doors. He will also have video of that car when it was on the Dukes of Hazard, prior to which the doors were welded shut, as they remain today. <laughs> welded? Welded shut. It cannot open. It is impossible. <laughs> like in the movie? Oh my god, that movie was a piece of shit. You're fucking... No, the original TV show. <laughs> My father worked on that. Wow, so the doors don't open at all? This the Dukes of... Did you not... You climb in the window! <laughs> so you didn't ding my door? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not ding your door. Impossible. Case closed. Can I please read my newspaper? Uh, Sorry. 
You know, just for the record, we don't just talk about paint swatches and towel etiquette in those <laughs> meetings. Sometimes we just hang out. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> I make cookies. And you know, sometimes we bring our dogs and you know, sometimes we walk our dogs together. Like on Wednesdays usually. Oh, I'm busy Wednesdays. <laughs> okay. Just what is your dog's name? Seven. Seven? Seven. The smallest of the litter of seven. I was the youngest of seven, so I named him seven. Oh. And what breed is he? <laughs> <laughs> he was a mutt. He died three months ago. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. in 7B and puppies. All the kids ran down the hallway to watch him being born. Anyway, it's six brand new healthy puppies all looking for a home. <laughs> 7B? Mm -hmm. She might even bring them to the next um, meeting. <laughs> you know, just in case somebody wanted to adopt one, you could stop by. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Do you ever drive that car? <laughs> it's covered in Confederate flags. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.